living in a society where using a password is a common way of life. That word or phrase that we use to gain admission or access to something. I use a password to sign on to my computer, access my cell phone, or use my credit and debit cards. When I go to the automated teller at the bank, I have to use my password before I can complete any transactions. Employees with some companies need a password to access certain areas of their workplace. While their application usage may have changed, passwords are nothing new and have actually been used for centuries. In ancient times, guards would ask a person for their password before allowing them to pass through or enter a certain area. Of course, what I would use for, as a password would probably be different than what someone else would use. We may use words or digits that have a personal meaning to us, or it could be totally random. We could use this analogy of passwords in terms of our relationship with God. What is it that allows us to gain admission or access the kingdom of God? The Bible often uses the word faith which is described in Hebrews 11 and 1 as the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11 and 6 tells us, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Faith can be described as our password which gives us the privilege of entering into a relationship with God. Ephesians 2 and 8 says, For by grace you have been saved, through faith. In Luke 7 and 50, Jesus says to a woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. But there is a big difference in faith as our password as compared to other passwords we might use in daily living. We are always told to keep our password confidential and hide it from others. Of course, the complete opposite is true in terms of our faith. Romans 1 and 12 tells us that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. This password is meant to be openly displayed and shared with others, and may we always be willing to do so.